The use of drones in agriculture monitoring. Drones or unmanned aerial vehicles, UAV, can be used to various applications, including mapping, monitoring, and transportation of goods. The technology has rapidly advanced in the past decade and the cost has steadily decreased, opening the door for applications of drones in many new and exciting use cases. As agriculture continues to grow, the use of new technologies to help manage and monitor the agriculture industry has also increased. One such example is the use of drones or UAV to capture photos and videos of agriculture farm sites. This can help farm managers to get a better eye view of their agriculture site, allowing farmers to better understand conditions, including if waves and winds are impacting their cages, identifying areas to expand or more advanced knowledge, including visualizing nutrients and other parameters on the surface. Government and other institutes tasked with managing the agriculture industry can also benefit from the use of drones, including creating an inventory of the location and type of cages waterboarding. When flying drone mission, there are several key steps to ensure success. Step 1. In the planning phase and it can be broken into several subsections, flight planning, which includes identification of main purpose for the flight. This helps establish what type of drone and sensors are needed for the mission. This will also identify the area to be captured during the flight and can help determine the image acquisition plan type, the ground sampling distance, and the overlap needed to capture images, scoping which can include visiting the site to better understand the area, identify any potential obstacles, identify takeoff and landing areas. This can help modify and finalize the flight plan to ensure a successful mission. Permitting, ensuring that permissions and permits needed for a safe flight are identified, permit applications are submitted, and all necessary permits and permissions are obtained. Once the flight has been planned, scope necessary permits are in place, all operation procedures are in place, and assuming weather conditions are favorable, step two can take place. This will include the drone flight itself for data acquisition. The drone will capture the data on board typically in the form of individual images taken at regular intervals of the study area. The drone mission will take place based on the flight plan with predetermined waypoints based on a grid over the study area. The flight controller displays this information and more to allow the drone pilot to monitor the flight status. Key information displayed includes flight time, speed, direction, altitude, current location, battery status, and other details. The flight mission might require the drone to return to the landing site to swap out batteries before completing the designated flight plan. Once the flight is complete and the drone has returned safely with all data collected, the next step is step 3, data processing. This step involves downloading data using specialized software to combine and merge all images in a single image called the open mosaic. There are several other processing steps that can be used to create other types of products. This will depend on the main purpose of the flight determined during the initial planning process and may require use of specialized sensors like multispectral, LiDAR and others. Drones can also be utilized for collecting water samples to measure different water quality parameters. This is more advanced use for drones that is currently under development. As an example, a bottle could be attached under a drone and flown to a specified location, lower slowly into the water to collect the sample, then return to the landing site where the bottle can be detached. This water sample collected can be measured directly at the site with a multi-parameter sonde or a sample can be stored to be measured at a lab. The drone can be fitted with a new bottle and flown to a different location to collect another sample. By utilizing drones to collect water samples, 
they are potential cost and time savings. In the near future, drones could be utilized to dispense feed pellets at fish farm sites and at the same time measure various parameters to help the farmer reduce feed costs and protect their environment. To learn more about the True Fish Project, please visit the following link.